Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. For about three days now, William Ruto and his close associates have been talking about freedom is coming. And Dennis Itumbi has been very active trying to sell that kind of a narrative. And if you look at them, it's as if William Ruto and his team, his close associates, mainly from Uda, are trying to coin a new narrative. Freedom is coming. And Dennis Itumbi has been leading that. So in this video, I want us to have a look at a post, a post by Millicent Omanga, because the post also talks about that freedom. And Millicent Omanga seemingly is trying to explain to Kenyans what that freedom is all about. So let's have a look at the post, after which, as usual here, we are going to dissect the post to see exactly what it means politically. Millicent Omanga. Freedom from economic oppression of the poor. Freedom from high cost of living. Freedom from poor leadership. Freedom from high prices of wealth. Freedom is coming. And then Millicent Omanga shares that slogan, freedom is coming. That seems to be Hustlers, or rather William Ruto's new narrative. Freedom is coming. Millicent Omanga, in fact, has just tried to explain to us what that freedom they have been talking about all means. It means it's freedom from oppression of the poor, high food prices, and such kinds of stuff. That's the freedom they are actually talking about. But ironically, the people talking about freedom is coming are the same same people who are actually in government. And they should actually provide or give Kenyans that freedom. But they are also just promising that freedom is coming. They don't want to give Kenyans that freedom. So in this video, I want us to dig deep to see what that means politically, considering that this is a, these are the people who are in government. But before we do that, in case you are watching us for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya. Yes. Why is William Ruto and his team talking about freedom is coming while they are in government and they are not liberating Kenyans. They are not actually giving that freedom to Kenyans. The first objective, ob objective or reason why Ruto is actually trying to use that freedom is coming, William Ruto is trying to run away from his responsibility as a deputy president of Kenya. We know that in the position of William Ruto, he is in a position to offer that freedom to Kenyans. He has been in government for now about 10 years. In fact, in their first term, William Ruto was serving more or less as a co-president. He never actually gave Kenyans that freedom. In fact, when he had the opportunity to nominate about half of the cabinet, he only nominated people from his ethnic Kalenjin community. In their first term, when he was acting more or less as a president, we saw a roar and Kimware Dam scandals. We saw the hustlers jet. And we also saw live on camera school children being tear gassed because they were fighting for the grabbing or rather somebody had grabbed their playground. We saw them being tear gassed. William Ruto for the 10 years he has been in government, he had the responsibility to offer or rather to provide Kenyans that freedom. He has actually failed. So he's just trying to run away from that responsibility 
by trying to cheat Kenyans that, you know, if you elect me the president, I'm going to provide that freedom. He ought to have provided that freedom for the 10 years he has been serving as a co-president. And then secondly, Ruto wants to give hope to his pessimistic supporters by telling them freedom is coming. And I'm saying that because the political reality in the few weeks and months have not been very good for William Ruto and his supporters. All opinion polls and statistics are showing William Ruto losing popularity and his main competitor, Raila Odinga, has so far overtaken William Ruto in the opinion polls. As I talk right now, if an election was to be done today, Raila will beat William Ruto in all regions of Kenya, except in Kalenjin, Rift Valley. The mountain is still slippery. So William Ruto and his team, they are sensing defeat. Ruto knows he's losing, and some of his supporters are now also growing pessimistic. They are seeing their candidate obviously and clearly going to lose. William Ruto is just trying to give them hope that actually freedom is coming. We are winning this thing. But that's just a false hope. William Ruto is going to lose. And then another, another reason, I tend to believe Ruto has also brainwashed his supporters, the likes, the likes of Millicent Omanga. If you listen to Millicent Omanga sometimes, they do talk as if they are sure William Ruto is winning. I just don't know whether they are just pretending or whether they are talking out of conviction. But besides pretending, some might actually be believing that Ruto is going to win. So I'm seeing a William Ruto who has successfully succeeded in brainwashing his supporters. His supporters are living in a different world. They are not living in our world. They are living in some utopia world. Rather, they are living in some, maybe in space. <laughs> they are not in, living in the reality, or rather in the real life we are in. Because for any person who is actually in Kenya today, I, I honestly believe <laughs> that by now, less than 50 days to the elections, I tend, I tend to believe it's almost very crystal clear that William Ruto is not going to win this year's presidency. He is losing it. Some of his supporters and maybe some Kenyans maybe are still not seeing that. I tend to believe they are, see, they are not seeing that maybe because they might be living in denial or they are living in a different world, a completely different world from this one we are living in today. And above all, ladies and gentlemen, all these talks of freedom is coming, these are just a continuation of William Ruto's lies. A William Ruto was actually been mentioned in several allegations of corruption. A William Ruto is actually surrounded by corrupt people, the likes of Rigathi Gashagwa, and Weguru, a William Ruto who himself has also been linked to some kinds of murders and disappearances. That's a person who cannot give or offer Kenyans any kind of freedom. These are just propaganda, falsehood, and clever political language to hoodwink unsuspecting Kenyans into voting for William Ruto. Ruto, from where I see it, cannot actually provide that freedom to Kenyans. Actually, what Kenyans are running away from, all the ills bedeviling this country, what Kenyans are really yearning to maybe run away from, all those ills are in William Ruto's camp. Yes. So if they cannot offer Kenyans the freedom. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, let me leave it there for now. Just as I did indicate when we were starting, 
in case you've bumped here for the very first time, but so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans, our subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are actually giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. Any other person watching us outside Kenya for the very first time, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible, again, subscribe, give this video a like. That post by Millicent Omanga has actually backfired. God bless you. God bless Kenya.